Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you have been following Dina Thrift's 12th anniversary edition deck, ranging from the Terminator 2 and the Terminator Plus 12th anniversary edition, subsequently we released the Pontus 2 12th anniversary edition, as well as the Ares 12th anniversary edition, you would have expected this Venus 2 12th anniversary edition. 12th anniversary edition is important to Dina Frips and us, being a Chinese ethnic group, 12 is important number to us. If you know a little bit about Chinese culture, there are 12 animal zodiacs that represent 12 different years that we always associate us, which year we are born, and which Chinese zodiac animal that the year that we are born. This year is Year of Rabbit. We just celebrated the Chinese New Year. Uh, it was a couple of days ago. It finally come to an end. We are back to work and ready to give you this Venus 2 12th Anniversary Edition introduction video. Before I go into the details of the Venus 2 12th Anniversary Edition, let me just show you the three differences, the three different Venus since its inception in year 2017. The top one is the original Venus deck. It looks pretty much the same outlook wise, but in reality, there are a lot of differences. This is the Venus. It looks a little bit darker. The printing on the front panel is a little bit grayish, especially the black unit. We always got a feedback from the customer that they can't see the printing on the top or the front panel. It is subtle, it is in grey colour, it is not as obvious. Uh, it's kind of, to us, it's elegant design where you don't see very obvious or very high contrast printing on the front panel. Besides that, it is a little bit thinner, as you can tell. There's no protrude bottom panel. I'll come to that later. This is the Venus in year 2017, 19 and 20. In year 2020, somewhere around mid of year 2020, Dina Phipps released the Venus 2. But before going go into that, I just want to highlight the difference between the Venus, the original one, versus the Venus 2. The Venus comes with what we call Amanero USB and DSP module. It looks like this. I have it with me. This DSP digital signal processing module uses Amanero USB receiver as well as different FPGA chips. It was used in Dina Fripp's DAC for year 2017, 18, 19. At the end of year 2019, Dina Fripp's released a new DSP module where it is incorporated in the Venus 2. So this Amanero USB mod or the DSP module has been using for Dina Fripp's DAC for quite a while. So since the upgrade of the DSP module, we did roll out a DSP module upgrade in year 2020 or somewhere closer to end of 19, year 2019 for the user to upgrade the original DSP module with the later version. So with the release of the Venus 2, it comes with the latest DSP module where Dina Phipps call it a pretty good upgrade in my opinion. The original DSP is known to sound a little bit warmer, where the newer version or the current version is known to sound a little bit more open, more details, yet it retains the analog-like musicality of what Dina Fripps is known for. So since the release of the Venus 2 in mid of 2020, DSP module was replaced in the Venus 2 and it uses the latest DSP module. The difference between the original Venus and the Venus 2 is big. In my opinion, the original Venus is closer to the original Pontus. So it looks physically the same. There's no metal divider in between the Venus, the original one, and the power supply module. But it was found in the Venus 2. So let me just put this guy aside so that not to confuse you. Uh, again, his even though it is a little bit smaller, but it still weighs a lot. Oh, as you can tell, I need to oops, apply a little bit of force in order to lift it up. The Venus 2 released in mid or oh, somewhere towards June or 
July of 2020. In my opinion, it is closer to the original Terminator. What I say so is because it comes with what is really tr triggered down from the original Terminator where a metal piece is found in between the DAC module as well as the power supply module. It isolates the power supply module, the pretty much encased power supply module with another additional piece of metal sheet in between the PSU module as well as the DAC module and it uses high quality silver cable from the PSU module to the main DSC board. I happen to have the main DSC board with me, or I should call it a motherboard. This is how it looks like in the Venus 2. In the Venus 2, like I mentioned before, the DSP module is upgraded to the latest one where uh, I think Six Spoon did a review of this DSP module and I think the editor of Six Spoon praised that this DSP module is a uh, Pretty nice uh, upgrade that doesn't cost a lot of money then. Uh, I should mention then. It was really because when we roll out this DSP module upgrade, the cost of FPGA was lower compared to after or during the pandemic. So we can manage the cost and sell this DSP module to the existing customer at a lower price. But since the start of the pandemic, uh, you, you, you may hear this very often, the chip shortage, the cost increase in manufacturing and blah 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 it is real the cost of the FPGA module increased double triple to an extent that we can't find enough stock availability of this FPGA module that we need to buy at a very high cost in order to keep the production going but things has been uh, easing as most of us get back to work factory are more or less in full production we anticipate the cost of this FPGA or the rest of the chips to be lower but at a slower pace. Welcome to the inflation world. Inflation is coming <laughs> every cost of the item in your hobby as well as your daily life increase. So we are hopeful and hope. let's put it this way. We, let's hope for the availability of the chip to be available then we will be able to produce the deck and sell it to you. Right, so I digress. The Venus 2 comes with this DSP module upgrade and this main board look very different from the original one where you spotted a row of white color film capacitor from this company called Evox as well as two temperature control crystal oscillator. Compared to the original Venus, the original Venus was using two femtol clock whereas the Venus 2 is using temperature control crystal oscillator along with a metal sheet in between the power supply unit and the motherboard the Venus 2 was a pretty good upgrade that finally boosts the sales of the Venus 2 <laughs> in honesty in the past where people will buy the Pontus or the Terminator Venus is sort of like the middle child where people think that if they have the money they would have gone for the Terminator instead of the Venus and also partly because in my opinion Venus was closer to the Pontus but in my opinion since the release of the Venus 2 I think the Venus 2 is really closer to the original Terminator that was in it was released in year 2020 somewhere around mid or July we did send this to review and the reviewer who has the original Terminator think that this sounds really close to the original Terminator. So it has been in the market for a couple of years and 12th anniversary hit Dinofrips and us, we decided to release the Venus 12th anniversary edition, which is the bottom unit. From this camera angle, you may not be able to tell the size difference between the two. The width is the same, the depth is the same, but the height is a little bit different. The Venus 2 12th anniversary edition is a little bit taller. The 5mm taller in the Venus 2 12th anniversary edition is really because we needed the extra room for the larger toroid or the all-core transformer. Yes, you read me right. The Venus 2 12th anniversary edition comes with two larger all-core transformer rated at 80 VA or you can call it 80 watt. 
the original one comes with a 30 comes with two 30 watt all core transformer the venus 2 comes with two 60 watt all core transformer and the venus 2 12 comes with two 80 watt all core transformer the how taller chassis allows us to put in larger transformer and it makes a difference in terms of sound quality so what are the differences between the two units that you are seeing here the venus 2 and the venus 2 12 is really the effort of dina Fripp's chief engineer put in in the power supply unit two all core larger transformer as well as some other components that is optimized in the power supply unit as well as some minor capacitor resistor tuning on the motherboard like i always like to do in a video in the introduction video i want to show you what is inside this venus 2 12th anniversary edition let me just put the venus 2 aside and show you the beauty of the venus 2 12. ah again it's heavy i gotta whoa no i can't i gotta i gotta move myself in order to put this safely aside i can't just leave it using my one hand so this is a venus 2 12th anniversary edition it looks a little bit thicker uh, the bottom part as you can see there's a protruded out um, bottom panel to accommodate, accommodate the larger all core transformer other than that you can see that the front panel the depth and the rear panel looks pretty much the same as the venus 2 so high quality connector at the back more than enough connectivity for you for all your digital needs true balance output to XLR, single ended output, to RCA. And this, I think, is a good size deck that I like very much. Just like the Pontus, I like to use the smaller unit on my desk or even in my home hi fi system that I can just maneuver easier. Right, I wanted to show you what is inside this power supply unit and let me just use my Allen key available on the table. Let me see if I can do it that way. Right. So I did film a video to show you how to remove the bottom panel just in case some of the customers want to use their own um, footer. So this footer can be replaced quite easily for the Venus 2. The reason being is, is there's a middle divider between the power supply unit and the main motherboard where if you lift up this bottom panel, the power supply unit will rest on the metal, metal piece in between the chassis as well as the motherboard, it will not be pressing towards the motherboard. I did not do it for the Pontus, it's really because it is more dangerous. The Pontus main motherboard is stick, or rather is installed to the power supply unit. If you remove the bottom panel, the power supply unit is going to press on the main board, the motherboard. It's going to stress the connector at the back. So it's not recommended to do it for the Pontus. But for us, for the Venus 2, it is easier. Right. Um, let me just loosen some of the screws that I will be able to pop this guy open and show you what is the power supply all about. It is of larger all-core transformer, 80 watt, two of them. One for digital section, the other one for the R2R -R ladder. And they are along with some other components tuning. You can tell that the Venus 2 12 is different from the Venus 2. Again, commenting on sound quality is not my strength. Um, you'll see review coming out for this Venus 2 12 very soon. And I hope you enjoy this introduction video just by looking at the differences rather than the sound quality aspect. Okay, let me just put a foam cover. I do not want to scratch this piece of new Venus 2 12 that we received just recently. Okay, loosen all the... There are a lot of screws about close to 16 to 20 school then you will be able to pop this bottom panel out this is how the bottom panel looks like it's a little bit thicker to accommodate the two larger all core transformer here we go this is how the venus 2 12th anniversary edition look like for the power supply unit before i forget my faithful pointer with a small little cartoon dragon from my daughter how she gave it to me Okay, this is the power supply unit for the Venus 2 12th anniversary edition. There are two 80 watts all core transformer. It is larger compared to the Venus 2. There is this divider in between, the metal piece divider to isolate the power supply unit 
as well as the motherboard so you wouldn't be um, you will reduce the the noise transmit the electromagnetic noise uh, generated by the trial transformer with effectively by using this metal piece divider here so along with other components uh, upgrade the Venus 2 comes with one two three heat sink to dissipate the heat um, I think Venus 212 is using a uh, higher quality power supply where it is hotter um, it, it generates a little bit higher current for it to supply to the deck but you ask why is it a deck requires so much power it is not that the deck requires so much power it is because the Nafif believe in higher power supply quality will make the audio equipment sound a lot better compared to the I wouldn't say manicure but a, a, a normal power supply so this is how the power supply looks like as you can tell the capacitor are from Dina Frips Dina Frips OEM this capacitor to their specification where in my opinion sounds a lot better compared to the previous generation and these are the silver cable it's a solid core silver cable multi strain that uh, Dina Frips twist them together and supply digital power section and analog power section to the motherboard so all these um, cables here that you see yeah, are pure silver solid core cable so this set the Venus 212 very much different from the Pontus 2 whereas the Pontus 2 doesn't have this um, silver wire and doesn't have this metal piece in between so in my opinion Venus 212 or even the older Venus 2 is gaining a lot of attention lately is really because the sound quality of it is closer to the original Terminator but whether will, will this Venus 2 12th anniversary edition closer to the original Terminator 2 I'll leave it to the reviewer I wanted to show you the front panel the, the main board uh, just give me some time to put this back and I'll be able to show you the, the main board I hope you don't mind me doing all this work in this video again all my videos are not edited uh, in reality is I do not know how to edit a video or rather I did not spend time in learning video editing yet but uh, it's fun filming this video and growing the YouTube channel uh, we are hitting about 4k subscribers now and uh, I'm thankful for you and thankful for your support for this right let me just put the two cover the two screw the two screw to secure the bottom panel to the chassis and two additional screws at least two additional screw to secure the bottom panel and the power supply unit so this will allow us to flip this Venus 212 uh, upside down without without uh, moving the power supply unit all over the place it's a little bit challenging to, to do it uh, but I have been doing this for a long time I know the trick very well already right I have to find the right place to screw on this so as you can tell the Dino Flip stack design is pretty much modular where the power supply unit uh, is separated from the motherboard and you can do it um, you can remove them quite easily whoops right this is how the Venus 212 looks like and I have loosened the two screw at the back and I can pop this top cover out quite easily it's a pretty thick piece of uh, aluminium anodized aluminium top cover I think it's about at least 8 to 10 mm again um, these are made in-house where Dina Flips invest in machining in their factory to do this work for them right this is how the Venus 2 12th anniversary edition look like internally a latest DSP module upgraded since 2020 and uh, it's running the latest FPGA firmware two temperature control crystal oscillator very much closer to the original Terminator a row of film caps that is labeled with the Frips label here pure silver cable coming from the power supply unit supply the power to the digital section of the Venus 212 main board as well as the R2R circuitry four groups of R2R ladder true balance if you use true balance equipment downstream it is highly recommended to use the XLR output right I think I have covered most of the stuff of this Venus 2 12th anniversary edition uh, in reality is we have been shipping this for quite a while some of you are pretty lucky to get this get hold of this um, earlier and uh, price wise we are working very hard to keep the cost low but the additional weight the additional component cost increase 
we may not be able to hold the price for a longer time but at present moment we'll be selling it at the same price if you are interested in this Venus 2 12th anniversary edition I highly recommend you to consider this at the same old price as the Venus 2 right I think I have covered most of the stuff of this Venus 2 12th anniversary edition it's a long video if you enjoy my video do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time peace oops <laughs>